Dreaming Sarah on Nintendo Switch. I'm going to go ahead and do a new game here. All right, so this is a, I want to call it a psychological or, uh, sorry, psychological horror um, platformer. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty much what, I, what I, I, I feel it is. So you play as Sarah here that has to go around collecting various items and helping people out in this dreamlike world. So here's the first item you get from the umbrella. Hold A to open the menu and select it to equip. You can use it to collide by holding B. So we'll do that now. So now she can glide. And suits over. I don't think there's anything over here yet. Oh yeah, there's just the right here. So this elevator takes you to this eyeball looking room. Kinda weird. Kinda cool though too. So um I like the music. The music's really cool. Um, and it uh, fits the game really well. The graphics are nice to look at. The, <laughs> the environments are pretty creepy. Uh, like the giant eyeballs here. So this is the hat that you give to this kid. And it opens up a portal to another area to get another item. And I don't think there's anything over here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that eyeball is so creepy. Yeah, I think there's a thing over here. Oh, I'll just slid back. Okay, cool. Alright, yeah, I like I like the way that the the game um, utilizes the different uh, different items, and then just how overall creepy the game feels. <laughs> Alright, so I can't get up there yet. There's actually a bag of seeds you have to get. That'll actually, I think, open that up. Not sure what those do yet. Fishing pole. Go all over here. And this, I believe, is where you get the seeds. Oh, hi there. It's been a while since anyone visited me. Hey, I know. I have something for you. Here you go. And there's the baby seeds. Okay, so now you can. Um, yeah, I'll do. I'll just do this. Come on this way. So we plant the seeds. You get up there, and we keep going. Here's the little boy lost the hat. You give the hat back, and it opens up the portal there. And then over here, I don't think there's anything over here. Oh, right here. So never mind, this loops back over. I forgot about that. So that actually loops back. That's that's from, yeah. If you keep going back that way, you'll end up back over here anyway. All right, so there's this desert area here.
Uh, I forgot what's in here. And this is as fast as you can run. You can walk if you hold the the uh, the, uh, the uh, R button. Oh yeah, the compass. That's right. You found a compass. It will always point at something important. Press A to equip it. Now I've done that, but it does not actually point at anything, which I thought was kind of weird. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't point at anything as far as I can tell. And then, oh wait, oh, okay, I'll just keep going this way. Just go back. Okay. That's right, you get the compass and you go back this way. And you'll find the well. It's right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the well, actually. Because the well is where you find the magnifying glass. That lets you get really, really small. I can't find anything valuable in here. I won't stop looking, though. So, um, the game f doesn't feel, I mean, it's both linear and not linear at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> I mean, it feels pretty open, but, um, it, it pretty much points you or forces you to go a, a particular direction. Which, I mean, isn't, you know, isn't a bad thing. I love how the how the how the environment that you're in here tilts back and forth. It's great. It's pretty awesome. And then magnifying glass should be I believe up here. Pretty sure it's over here. Yep, right here. There you go. Yay. Alrighty. You found a magnifying glass. Equip it to shrink and explore small areas. So, ow. <laughs> I love her scream. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna die again. Alright, so if you equip the magnifying glass, you'll end up being really small. And you can still use the umbrella, which is cool. I can go this way. What you have to do is you have to come back up here. You have to chase by the lava. I love that tilt. So cool looking. So yeah, if you guys like, um, you know, uh, psychological horror slash puzzle Metroidvania type games, this game's pretty awesome. Definitely a... a uh, a, a fun, fun game. And I hit that. Oh wait, what? I went the wrong way. Well, that was that's what the problem was. I was supposed to go straight instead of up. That was my problem. Let's try it again. Up here, go across over here. Uh, 
No, no, this way. There we go. So this gets you into the haunted house area here. Yeah, I'm not sure what I mean by that. Let's go this way first, though. Oh, it's going to lose back anyway. Okay, let's go in here. Actually, um, I think I'm going to end the review here, guys. Uh, it's been a look at uh, Dreaming Sarah and Nintendo Switch. Uh, definitely a game I highly recommend for, for fans of uh, psycho psychological uh, platformer or uh, well, excuse me, psychological horror <laughs> platforming games. Uh, definitely worth checking out. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.